channel. My name is Madison and this is Bailey and this is my channel. <laughs> we're not going to do that. <laughs> no, it's okay. We're just going to keep it. Um, This channel is all about makeup. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of makeup. And we do a little bit of vlogging about our lives because we like to think we're special. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But let's just go ahead and jump in. Okay, so, so today we went to the JCPenney Sephora, Sephora at our local mall and we got a couple things. Yep, I picked up a couple of things that I wanted to use today. So I picked up one that I wanted to use today. It's new. I don't well, know. Well, one thing's not think. new, but um, I got the all nighter setting spray because this stuff is bomb. I think this stuff is better than my Morphe setting spray. <laughs> and then I got the new um, Pore Professional, the Pearl Primer. So I'm excited to use this because I like the regular Pore Professional blue one. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I got the Hamptons Weekends Contour Palette. And this is what it looks like. It has a highlight, a blush, and a contour color. It's very so, nice. Yes. It was a good price for the mirror and how big of a fan these are. It was a very nice price. So one of my New Year's resolutions is to post a video at least once a week. Maybe more. Oh my gosh. Um... One of mine, if you didn't know, um, me and my friend Emma, we have a makeup account that we just Who's recently pink? started. Ooh, that's cool. pink. So we have a makeup account that we just recently started and it's called Our Makeup Closet. And I want to try to post a video, like one video at least every day and pre-film the day before. So yeah. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer also. Oh, y'all, this feels so good. Okay, next I will be using the Hourglass Spanish Stick Foundation. And I bought this when I left all of my makeup at home. We went to Raleigh on the vlog, never went up, but it was technically Vlogmas. And so this is the foundation I got. And the color matched me wrong. But I bought it, and so I'm going to use it. And I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm sure you guys already know, but it's that time of year where you got to change colors. So, I'm in nude ivory now. Oh, and I'm in buff. And I'm sure y'all can see this is not my color. Yeah. But I paid for it, so we're going to blend it down my neck and pretend it's my color. <laughs> but it's not. Oh. And I'm going to be using the Morphe Y6 brush to buff it in. Let me look. Yeah. You think it looks good? Yeah, that's pretty much your shade. And now, oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, okay. Users. Um, now I'm going to be using the Black Beauty Blender. I don't know why I specific that. Specific, I don't know how to say it. I don't know why. I told you it was black. I'm sure you can see. This clip's gonna get my nerves. I'm gonna hold this mirror. She got the impressions vanity. Yeah, I got This is my Christmas present to myself. <laughs> I think I might have to put more because this basically is my skin tone, but I'm not complaining. What? Oh. I'll pay you back for it. I need some more foundation. I ain't got no more. Let's see. It's, it's a little orange. Yeah. I'm too orange. But once you put like concealer on, it's not as it's bad. It's not bad, yeah. Because I've worn it a few times. Mm -hmm. Um, Another New Year's resolution, or like a New Year's goal, is to reach um a thousand subscribers on YouTube. So, hit the subscribe button. And share this video. Mm -hmm. Tell all your friends. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. But and uh, I'll be doing prom makeup this year for anybody yeah. that is interested. And you can go ahead and book for prom now. I've already booked like three people for prom. 
Um, we're using the Wet n Wild. Well, I'm using the Wet n Wild Butter Focus Concealer. As always, I love their face products. I love, love, love Wet n Wild products. This, this primer has worked by like, filling my pores, especially this one. That quick? Yeah, it works that quick. Okay, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be using, as everybody all knows, Tarte Shape Tape in the shade light. And I'm going to be using the Better Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory. What are Okay, I think it's on the... Okay. It feels weird looking down, I'll show me. Okay. Now I'm just going to blend that in with the beauty blender. And I'm going to blend mine in with the Y6 brush. Of course. I like to do my under eyes last when I do concealer because I just want to give it some time to set. Which it doesn't take that long to one bad thing about this concealer is I can't really work it around. Like, it stays in the one spot. Look, I can't work it up. Like, I I'm try just gonna blend it out some. I'm gonna use our little technique sponge to blend it out just a little bit more. Because sometimes I feel like I just, like with a brush, you just can't really blend out. Yeah, sometimes with a sponge, you can't with a sponge. A sponge, you can't bring it. You can't I can't it. talk today. I feel like I can't get it in the place that I really need to with the brush. I feel like that with like this really okay. thick concealer that I use. Now I'm going to use the Laura Mercier setting powder. And I'm going to use the Cody Aslan, as most of you may know. I feel bougie right now. No, I don't. <laughs> and I'm just going to... I'm not afraid to get this thing dirty anymore because like I don't use it anymore. So I normally just put it on with the Real Technique sponge. And I love this angle right here. You can really get under. Yeah, I know. I agree. This so, is like a perfect sponge for doing setting powder. It really applies it. Yeah, it applies like, it great. And then I can like bring it down wherever I need to. I didn't really feel like that. Can. I am. So. This is a lot. <laughs> this sponge is so big that I get to like everywhere. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> I think so. How about I've almost quite gone through this little Mercier setting color. And, and that's crazy because I have not had it that long. I dampened both of my sponges. Mm -hmm. so I cannot stand a wet beauty blender. I'm going to wipe it off because I don't, yeah. I'm going to bronze my skin. I'm wiping it off and then the wet mild brush is their biggest brush out, so. I'm gonna use the hula. Hula? Hula. Huda. No, hula. The hula, hula. bronzer. I and I'm gonna use the hula brush by Benefit. This brush works wonders with this powder, honestly. I gotta get a smaller brush. We're using a real Technique buffing brush. I love this thing. Million, a million, a million, a million. Because it had foundation. Oh, yeah. That's great. I know. I used it for foundation the other day. I mean, it's not that foundation brush. I'm going to use your um, contour. Okay. Alright. So. I've set the concealer. Now I'm just gonna go in. I'm going to in. I don't know if I want to use my Becca. Like I'm a little iffy about my purchase. Why? Because it's not like a boom. It really isn't. It's, it's not. It's a subtle highlight. A very subtle highlight. It's like definitely a day highlight, not a night highlight. You're gonna do highlight and you have your bronze. I'm not doing it yet. Uh, I'm going to use the Hampton yeah. Weekends Contour Palette that she bought. And I'm going to use Farmer's Markets, which is the bottom shade and contour shade. 
Yeah. Um. And I'm going to use a Morphe 530 brush. I don't think I'm going to use this. Um, it's called Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini. It's not. It's it's not what it looks like. Like, when you swatch this thing, you think you're going to get, like, a lot. Like, this thing looks great on the hand. Like, you could we couldn't even Which see it. We couldn't see it on Madison's face. I really can't see it on my face. Oh, but no. I could see it on mine. Like, but it wasn't like it wasn't. It was there, but like it's it just wasn't for people there. that doesn't like. I like my face to be blinding. Me too. Like if the sun hits me, I want to be looking like Edward from what's the vampire movies? Um, they're before your time. Hey, what movie is that? Is it the van? The tw it's Twilight. Twilight. So, this wonderful person right here got me this Huda Beauty palette for Christmas. It's the Mauve Obsessions palette. It is great. I have to say, I picked it out, but she told me I could come to the store and pick out like, whatever, she I, wanted. Like, whatever I wanted and that she would get it for me for Christmas. So, I could have picked the expensivest thing there, but I was not going to do that because the expensivest thing of makeup there probably I wouldn't have liked. So, <laughs> it's, and I really want to use like This palette is great. Like, and it's not a bad price. Um, Thank God she didn't want the most expensive thing there. <laughs> yeah. My bank account would not have been happy. And there's some really expensive things at Sephora. Okay, well, I watched Joy Graceffa's and Larley's, um... When they bought them? When they bought them. What did they buy? It was like $37. I don't know what they bought. No, that's what the lady said was That's what the lady said was the most expensive thing. I didn't watch it. I just heard it on Larley's part that that's what the lady said was the most Which expensive Which is crazy thing. because... But I'm sure that's... I know. Their perfumes are more expensive than $37. <laughs> I wish I had enough money just to go in and buy the most expensive thing. Me too. I'm going to go back in with my concealer and use it as an eyeshadow primer. Yeah, that's what I did. Sorry. I'm terrible about telling you what I'm doing. So, yeah. Um, there's a brush that I sometimes use to put this in with. I, I find it easier just to use my finger. Me too. Okay, I now I'm going to go in with oh. Cat's Pajamas by Laura Lee Los Angeles, my homegirl. And I'm going to go into the shade Okie Dokie, which is this one. Like, translucent shade. It looks white. But it's really not. No, I'm just going to set my eyes. Sorry, I have to see it's probably getting close to what we got to What? I can do this. Oh, yeah, you do have a mirror right there. Um... This is my favorite shade just to go all over my I face. love that palette and the pants are really big. Yeah, as soon as I got this, because I was going to do a review on it, and I took it out of the box early, and I knew I shouldn't have, and my nail went into the shade. I was so happy with my Ofra highlighter. I am making my Ofra highlighter, my Becca highlighter. You have a nail mark in it? A good chunk. Like, okay. I love this highlighter, but I do have some bad things to say. So, when me and Hunter went to New York, I treated myself, and I bought the new Huda Beauty um, Desert Dust Palette. So, that's what we're going to be using today. And I'm going to go really into nice. the third shade right here, Eden. Y'all can see. Um, when I first swatched, I didn't swatch it. Madison has little mini brushes that I got her for Christmas. From Mini Real Techniques brushes, and I quickly put it on in the car. And this blush was I'm already on eyeshadow. And you haven't even done it. Okay, because I was waiting for you to use this. No, you're just talking. The thing was so pigmented; it looked like I was a clown. So, because I thought this thing would not be pigmented, but it was pigmented. So I'm gonna go in with Summer House, which is the blush color. Blush. I cannot talk today. Blush color. Uh, this is the Morphe 501 brush. And I'm going to use dogs. the Real Techniques contour brush, but I'm not using it for contour because I find this best 
to get blush because I don't put much blush on. Like you have to tap this off. Yeah, it is super, <coughs> it's super big. Bailey put it on and I was like, and, I was, and it was like, she looked like a clown. I did. And I hated to tell her, but I told her. But I already knew, so oh like I wasn't, I wasn't hiding anything. So, and I'm not a blush person. Like I'm not a like I will blush now. Give me, no, that's not me. I'm not a blush person. I'm using the shade Blazing. Don't I'm gonna go in bottom. with Farmer's Market, which is a contour color. I'm gonna use the Morphe 441 brush, and I'm going to go into the shade, really. It's like saffron, maybe? maybe. I thought you were saying really at me. I was like, what? No, I'm saying really, because I don't know how to pronounce the shade. Saffron, I think. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna really focus this in our crease. Y'all should all, after this video, go and check out my Instagram page. Maddie's it's called, makeup. it's like Maddie's Makeup and it has two underscores. So Maddie's, M A D I S um, underscore, underscore makeup. And I did Bailey, Miss Kendi, and Emma's makeup yesterday. I said I didn't see you. You didn't see that camera because I, I like <laughs> almost uh, dropped this. But um, y'all need to go check it out and like the picture and share it because when we reach 200 subscribers, we'll be doing a giveaway. So keep that in mind. And, and it's either gonna be listed on my Instagram or my YouTube. So you gotta be on you both. Gotta know. So I'm using the highlight color Beach Getaway. And I'm using the Cream Shop. If y'all know what brand that is, it's a highlight brush, and I love this thing. Like it's great. She got it from TJ Maxx. And it was like it was two ninety nine. In case y'all didn't know, for the people that live around me who really know me, our TJ Maxx is carrying Anastasia Beverly Hills right Anastasia. now. Yeah, Anastasia. They had the contour palettes. But it's for medium to deep skin tones, and I found one of the light ones right there. Where? TJ Maxx. Why don't you give it? Cause I don't want or it. Call me. Come in the car. It was like hiding. Um, but they're carrying it right now. So if you're like a deeper tone girl or a deeper tone boy, go ahead and buy it right now. And then you have to tell me how it works because I really want it. Okay, so putting down this, it's going down. And now I'm going to go in with my Huda Beauty My Possessions palette. It's great. I love it. Got to wipe off the mirror and in with the shade above that, which is the brown color, and we're going to use it for our crease color. That was a mouthful. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back in with the chamfron. Saffron shade and just keep like building it up because I want it to be super duper bright. I would tell you what kind of brushes they are, but like it doesn't have it on the thing because we bought these off of Amazon and they're the best brushes I've ever purchased. They're great. We're gonna take my Morphe 441 brush and go into the shade right here called Amber. Amber alert, Amber alert. Yeah, now I've kind of blended that, but I'm just going to go in with a blending brush. It's an elf blending brush. It's great. Love it, and I'm going to keep on just trying to blend it. And I'm going to go back in with my Morphe 518 brush and blend and blend and blend. Alright. Now I'm going to kind of go in with the reds and stuff like that. So I'm going to take the color beside this brown color. I wish these had names on them, but they don't. So I'm going to go in with the color beside that brown color that we just used. Okay, I like the one that's This color. And we're going to just put it, uh, you'll see, you'll see, okay, because I'm going to have to grab it. I'm not a professional makeup, so makeup, I'm not a professional makeup. No, I'm not, because I'm not a makeup. <laughs> 
<laughs> we're not professional makeup artists, if you can tell, but we just like it. I'm definitely not because I don't even know what to do with this stuff. I just put it in places and make it look good. Okay, that's, I'm going back into Cat's Pajamas, and I'm using the, sh the black shade in here called Oddball, and I'm going to use the Morphe 433 brush, and I'm going to put this strictly in my outer corner. And that's what I was just doing. And okay, I'm going to put motion. this color strictly in that outer corner. There we go. I love putting black in my outer corner and I don't know why because I've always been afraid of like black eyeshadow. She has. And I went like, I'm scared of brown like, cause I don't want to look like I have a black eye. But here lately. I'm like really close to my mirror, sorry, because like I'm trying to precisely do We're this. We're trying to, you know, make do what we got here. I'm using this one palette and I normally go in with my Morphe palette and this. The Morphe palette has some really good reds. I would have used my Huda, Huda Beauty palette, but they don't have a black shade in them. Yeah. And I just keep like deepening and blending, deepening and blending. It's like I pat it in this outer corner and then I blend. You just help me. Like that. I'm glad. Okay, now I'm going to take my Morphe 441 brush and I'm going to go right here into this shade called Cookie and blend that black in my outer corner. But I'm making sure to only keep it in the outer corner so like I don't do like windshield. I just kind of do little tiny motions. Because that's not a shade, but it went all the way in our inner corner. I'm just kidding. Okay, there we go. Yeah, looks even. Okay. Shall I do a cranberry color on my eye? This was this what this palette is. That's what I this know. palette is, cranberry colors. I love cranberry colors on my eye, too. She puts cranberry colors on her eye like every day. It's just... You can't feel them. Okay, I'm gonna open my all nighter setting spray. I might have to use that. Oh wait, I have a little mini one. I'll go get my mini. Oh, all nighter pollution and protect. That's different, isn't it? Oh, no, I guess it's the same thing. I've never bought this one. I've never seen it like this. They might have put it in their formula. It's glitter primer! Okay. First off, I'm going to take, it's called Turkish Delight. And I'm going to put this on my little Amazon brush. And I'm going to spray it. Oh. With my All Nighter Setting Spray. Oh, this is my Scandinavia. Huh? That's not also really on top of it, okay? Look how pretty this is, y'all. Like, you cannot beat it. Are these sides even? Yes. Alright. So, I've evened up both my sides. Now I'm going to take this blending brush that I've about the I'm blending brush. I'm just going to blend it a little bit. Not much. Not much at all. Okay, so I only put this cranberry shade in the first half of my eye okay. because of the black shade. And so now I'm going to take this brush and I'm going to blend these two shades and together. And now I'm going to go in with this color right here that you see. And I'm going to... Yo, I recommend the, this palette to anybody. I really want to get her other one. Okay. Now we're going to go back in with Laura Lee's palette. And we're going to go in the black shade with the 443 brush. It's 
spray it with all nighter with the same color. Sorry, I'm really quiet, but I try to focus a lot when I do. I'm gonna take to the it. next glitter thing. Something just fell in there. We're gonna try this, this out. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to go into my Huda Beauty palette and I'm going to take Eden and Saffron and mix them together, like tap back and forth, tap it off, and then go in my waterline. I have this e.l.f. powder and it is like a translucent powder, but I kind of use it a powder to set my whole entire face. So I just put that on after I'm done with this and it's translucent but it still like gives it a nice finish so I've had this thing for a while and I dropped it a while ago and it broke and it's Nikolai Light Beige I don't even know if they still sell this anymore I'm sure they do but I'm pretty sure I've had this for a very long time it does pick up product I, I even like take it down to my neck like I take this I'm gonna wipe my bake off down here Put that back in. I'm going to take my Luxe 660 brush and go into my Tarte blush in the shade Concept. Tap this everywhere. I love that blush. So and good. I really just kind of tap my blush in. I'm not really. That's good. Make now, sure you guys go both check out me and my friends makeup Instagram on Makeup Closet and Madison's makeup Instagram. Maddie's underscore underscore makeup. M I D I. Not M A D D Y. I'm going to take um Good Poof Brow Pencil in the shade too and kind of fill in my brows. I don't really do like Instagram brows because I still like to look real and I feel like I don't have a good brow shape. You just gotta shape them. I just kind of like, I'm not going on my spoolie and shape. I put a ton of this powder on. I just kind of fill them in because my brows out. are kind of sparse. Go down there in the spoolie with this and down. So hey, now I'm going to be yeah. applying the Ofra highlighter and this is definitely my fave because I have already hit band. She has. Now I'm going to take my Sephora dry tapered crease brush. It's like number 19 and I'm going to go right under my eyebrow. Okay. No, I still need this mirror. Eyeliner. If you guys think I'm weird, I'm sorry. I am. Okay. Okay guys, we're back and we put on some false lashes. I finished my eyeliner. And I applied some lipstick. I'm kind of going to give y'all the rundown. I did the Birthday Suit Lipstick mixed with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Milkshake Lipstick to create our color. That we've both got on right now. And I used the Ardell um, Double Wispies on my eye. And the Man Eater Mascara. And this is our sort of New Year's slash Valentine's Day eyeshadow look. So, so make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video and comment down below your New Year's resolution. And don't forget to follow us on Instagram. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.